All right, example one. We're going to use the following piecewise function to find the following. We're going to have A, B, C, and D. So this piecewise function is the same one we just had on the other video that we just wrote down in our notes. So it's the exact same thing. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and write out the numbers that we know are going to be over here on this one. So we know negative 2 is there, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, so on and so forth. Because we know the x is less than or equal to negative 2. We know that it's less than or equal to negative 2. And then we know here for the second one, we know it's from negative 2 all the way to 3, but not including negative 2. Oh, oh, almost got you there. Because remember, it doesn't equal, does not equal negative 2, so we cannot write negative 2 there. So we're going to just write negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And then the last one, we say the x is greater than 3. And again, can we write 3 down here? No, because it's not equal to 3. So we just have to do 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on and so forth. Okay, so the biggest thing for each one of these is we're going to follow those four rules that we set. So we talked about the first step, number one is to figure out what does x equal. And some people get that automatically. Some people are just like, I'm so confused. Now, with the whole thing that we talked about before, when it came to evaluating, we already talked about this right here. It's the x value. So if we look at a here, we know negative 3 is going to be considered your x value because it's in the x spot. x spot. There's x. There's negative 3. In the same spot, set x equals negative 3. Again here, we have f of x. So x is normally in the middle right here. So that means x is going to equal 0 here. 0. 0. 0. Okay. Now, before we move like, further down and everything, we go like, to the rest of this stuff. We're looking at x equals negative 3. So between these three parts here, where is negative 3? It's right there. So that means we need to use that first equation. The equation, remember, is in front, in front of the comma. So what we're going to do is f of x equals 1. That's the equation we're going to use. Okay, so we use the equation there. So that's not bad. That makes sense. Right, and then step three said to substitute that into the equation. Substitute x into the equation. So we're taking this and we're putting it into the equation. So we do f of negative three equals one. Alright, now we said the last thing is simplify, but before we do that, is there any x on the right side of that equation? So f of negative 3 equals 1. Is there an x over there on, on that next to that 1 at all? At all? No. So if there is no x there, can we put negative 3 into the problem? And actually substitute it into the problem? No, we can't because there's no x to substitute it in. And we don't just make up stuff because it's math. We don't just make it up because out of thin air, we actually have some type of sense to it. So if there's no x there, we cannot do any type of work. So since there's no x, let me write that down here really quickly. So if there is no x in the equation, we can't do work. So we just leave our answer as it is. And so step four, it says to simplify. It's already simplified. We can't do anything else. So this is our final answer. Bam. And that's it. There's no work to be done. That's it. Booyah. Booyah, booyah. Booyah, booyah. booyah. Yeah. Okay. So that's A there. 
and ma again make sure you have the f of negative three equals one so that that tells you that that's the function that you're dealing with or that that's the value that you substituted into the problem it's important that you have all that all right so let's go to number two all right so we know again we're going to deal with the function here we said that x equals zero so which one of these equations or lines is zero in It's in that second one right there. So we're going to write down the equation 2 plus x, because that's the equation on that line. Remember again, these are your equations. These are your equations. So we're always going to do f of x equals one of these three for your equation for step two. All right, so step three again. We're going to substitute the value of 0 in for x. So we substitute that value of n for x. And this time, because there's an x over there, we can do it. And we can simplify everything down. So now step 4 is to simplify it down. Simplify. So we get 2. So that's simple, that easy. Because 2 plus 0 is just 2. Everybody knows that. Hmm. Okay, so hopefully no questions, but there are. It's okay to ask. Asking questions are good. It's okay to ask a question. Very good. All right, so then here's the last two. And before we actually go through it, I want you to figure out what is your x value. And if you can go ahead and start working on it and get the answers really quickly, go ahead and do that. But first off, tell me, for those that are a little bit lost or not really sure how to do it, First, tell me what is x equal? <laughs> I gave it to you already. <laughs> I didn't mean to write down already. But my bad. I did it so fast. But hopefully everybody got that x equals 3 and x equals 5 because they're in those positions right there. So at three is in that spot, so x equals three. Five is in that spot, so x equals five. Okay, so then step two says again to figure out which equation to use. So what is x, which equation, substitute, so, um, simplify. So for both of these, we're looking at where x equals three. So which one of these does x equal three? So which one of these does x equal 3? You're right, the second one. So hopefully use that second equation, not the, the third one. But hopefully use the second equation again. Okay, and then we go ahead and substitute the values in again. Step 3 is substitute. And we get an answer of what? So step four. Yep, f of three equals five. Bam, that's it. Simple, easy, not hard. We got this. We got this. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that's it. That's all you got to do for that one. It's not bad at all. All right, so then for the last one, d, just jump into that really quickly, where x equals to five. Hey, that's right there. Whoa, five. So it means we're using this equation right here to work it out. So f of x equals 2x. Substitute the, the 5 in for x there. So we ever see that x, you put a 5 in there. And then the last step is go ahead and simplify and now to work it out. Simplify. Simplify is Jimmy Snooker. Yeah. Superfly, superfly, Jimmy Snooker. All right, and that's it. That's all you have to do with this. So again, it's not a hard thing. So don't overthink it, please. And that's piecewise. As he by waiting piecewise functions.